Build Tutorial Part 66 The File Find Module In this tutorial we will use the File Find Module to find files and directories on our computer or server. I'm going to write the script on my desktop and we're going to come into the Perlwork directory and check out what's inside here. So first of all, we load our module, file find. Firstly, here's a way we can just go into our Perl work directory and print out everything that is inside. Now we can pass our find function an anonymous subroutine. So we're going to print file find name and now we can put in our directory that we're going to look through Perl work. Now if you wanted to search through the current directory which is actually my desktop we would just change this to a dot. Okay so let's run this and print out everything inside the Perl work directory. And here we are. Here's our directory. The files goes into the directory one, prints out all the files in that directory. Okay, so let's do this again, but do it a bit differently and add a few fancy tricks to it. I'll just comment this out. Now let's use our find function. Now we can set a bunch of variables inside a hash reference. So firstly we can say wanted And we're going to create a subroutine below. So wanted is our subroutine find files that we will create. Let's just go with that right now. And now we can put in our directory. like so. And now let's write our subroutine. Let's print out our files like this. This will do exactly the same thing. Let's run this. And here's our result. As you can see our Perlwork folder is printed at the top here so one of the options we can put in is if say we wanted it to come up at the bottom is by depth and if we make that equal to 1 and run this again our Perlwork directory 
comes up at the bottom. So that's just some of the options. There's a lot of options available. Have a look at CPAN for some of the options. Okay, so I'll just comment that out. And now I would like to show you a couple of things that we can do. So if we just wanted to search the directories, we could type in DIR instead of the name. So let's run this. And this will just print out the directories that all the files were found in. If we wanted just to print out the file names, we could do it like this. Here we have all the file names, including the directory one, and there's the home directory, the dot. Okay, so I'll just rewind this back. Now what we could also do is say if we just wanted to get the names of the directories once we could type in if dash d and let's run this Perl work and directory 1 if we wanted just to get all the text files and that would include all kinds of text files we'd put in a capital T so here we just get all kinds of text files which includes CGI, PL, bitmap Okay, and finally in this tutorial I'd like to show you how we can disallow the find files subroutine to go into directory 1 altogether. So, file find prune and we can set that to 1 if and we put the name of our directory directory 1 so now let's run this here's our main directory and just the files and directories contained in our main directory but it doesn't go inside directory 1 so that's the basic use of the file find module